Hey, what's up guys? This is Christian. Um, honored to speak to, the, to you today again. Um, I'm still in this wonderful studio of my friends uh, here in Germany and uh, I thought I'd take the chance and do a couple of, do a couple of videos, which is super fun because I have this fun like ring light. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, but um, it's fun. It makes things pretty. People like pretty things. I do too. So let's make things, let's make pretty things, why not? <laughs> and so uh, today I want to talk to you about um, how to love yourself. And for me, there are, you know, I want to start off with a quote that says, you know, the only person that can really pull you down is yourself, you know? And if you think that's another person, then that's only because you're giving that person permission to pull you down or to put you in a space where you feel uncomfortable. And you don't have to do that. You know, you're, you're a powerful, beautiful being just as you are. You don't have to fear anything. Or if somebody throws you, throws something at you that's just like, oh, that's well, something for me to look at. Uh, something I haven't maybe healed or, or just, you know, uh, came into terms with. Uh, so for me, uh, step step number one is in, in how to cultivate self-love is to create space for yourself. Because if you don't have the space, if you're cluttered with all the things that you have to do in your job, and oh my God, I have to do this and that, and I have to like buy a present and run over there, and oh my gosh, I have to like make this website. No, create some space. Create some space to actually get some clarity on what it is you really want. And um, now that you have that space, you can fill it which is step number two, fill that space. So journal, journal about what is, it really is that gives, that gives you self-love. What are you doing right now in your life that would you know, give you just a different angle, a different you know, outlook in life if you change things? For example, if you're drinking coffee and it makes you feel super giddy and like, yeah, you can't even control yourself, then try some tea or try some meditating and uh, just see how that feels, you know, experiment with your life. Um, so create some space, um, fill it with something that is serving you more, your spirit, your mind, your body more, you know, make a, make a, make a list of mind, body, and spirit, and really see, like, in which of these areas am I doing what, and what would serve me more in terms of self-love, in terms of my own happiness. Because our only, our, our only true function here on this planet is to be happy and to love ourselves. Because when we get into that space, we start to love others. And I don't see you as a rival. I don't see you as an enemy. No, you're just, you're just my brother. You're my sister. So I'm just here to serve, you know. And so thank you. Thank you for watching. I love you. And below there is a self-love journal that you can download. And um, yeah. Enjoy. I love you. Oh! <laughs> Before I forget, third step is to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice doesn't make perfect. Practice just makes permanent. So this is also the reason why I attach you that journal. Um, it's because you can practice. Practice how you can love yourself more in which areas of your life and you'll you'll see that space be filled with that just practice <laughs>